Today on the AI Breakdown Brief, OpenAI is preparing an open source LLM, together raises $20 million for open source AI, and Amazon and Samsung are both preparing ChatGPT competitors. Welcome back to the AI Breakdown Brief, all the AI headline news you need in five minutes or less. A couple weeks ago, a memo leaked from inside Google. It was a researcher who wrote and argued that Google didn't have any moat and neither did OpenAI. And the argument was effectively that open source AI was outcompeting Google, OpenAI, and basically anyone else who was taking a closed approach to AI. One of the things that they noticed was that they might have been distracted by trying to create ever larger models and that in fact there were advances that were being made on smaller models that were equally impressive. A couple of pieces of news are interesting in that light. The first is that according to the information, OpenAI is readying a new open source AI model. The goal would likely to be accrue some of the benefits to their ecosystem as have happened for Facebook since Facebook's Llama model leaked earlier this year. AI development watchdog Gary Marcus also pointed to a new paper which suggests again that these smaller training methods might actually produce pretty surprising results. Ronan Eldon tweets, Will future LLMs be based almost entirely on synthetic training data? In a new paper, we introduce Tiny Stories, a data set of short stories generated by GPT 3.5 and 4. We use it to train tiny LLMs with less than 10 million parameters that produce fluent stories and exhibit reasoning. Marcus says, fascinating new paper, which in conjunction with the leaked Google No Moat paper, is a poignant reminder that in AI, the technology could still shift dramatically overnight. There is certainly a lot of momentum around open source AI. In the weeks following the release and then full leak of Meta's Llama model, a company named Together released Red Pajama, which is an open source replication of that model entirely. Yesterday, Together announced that they had raised a $20 million seed round to continue building out open source AI infrastructure. But of course, the biggies aren't going to go down without a fight. Everyone, it seems, is trying to build a chat GPT competitor. We've got Samsung, who's trying to jointly develop a generative AI rival, as well as new competitive AI chips. And we've got Amazon, where journalists are reading the tea leaves of job listings for engineers to suggest that Amazon has plans to add a chat GPT style interface to its online search experience. One of the big questions for this next era of computing is whether this chat or conversational interface replaces the search interfaces that we've become accustomed to over the last 20 years. Google is certainly betting that things will change given what we saw last week at I.O., and it appears that Amazon is thinking in similar ways. Finally, this morning, we get the first hearing on AI in the Senate since the rise of ChatGPT about six months ago. The witnesses include Sam Altman, the CEO of OpenAI, Christina Montgomery from IBM, and Gary Marcus, who we just mentioned, who is a sometimes critic of the way that AI is developing. I'll have a full report about what happens at that hearing on today's full AI breakdown. That's it for the AI Breakdown Brief. If you're enjoying this, please like, subscribe, and share with your friends, and click the notification button so you don't miss any of these reports. I'll see you back here soon for the main AI Breakdown.